to my channel so as promised I'm doing um, a monthly favorites video and I'm going to start off with the month of May so starting off I'm going to introduce some of the beauty and makeup products that I've tried in the month of May and the ones that I really really liked that I want to share with you so starting off with some uh, skincare products I bought this Garnier body intensive seven days replenishing body lotion and this is for dry skin and it says here that it's fast absorbing so that's one of the reasons why I bought this. Um, after coming back from holiday um, and being in the sun for constantly for two weeks my skin was so dry and um, it was just it feels terrible um, it's just so dry and lacking in hydration I guess so I bought this in Asda so if you are also living in the UK so you you'll know and familiar with um Asda but you can get this in any drugstore I guess um and this is only about three pounds and it's such a big bottle um I haven't even gone through half of it yet and it is really really fast absorbing and it is super moisturising so after only a couple of days of using this my skin there's a massive difference to my skin so after using this for a few days I thought I'd get the hand cream as well and this one is in aloe vera this is from normal to dry skin as well and it's also fast absorbing and this one is in mango oil um, so I guess it depends on which one you like but I absolutely love both of them and would recommend to anyone um, who is going through dry skin in the upcoming summer seasons so recently I went into Lush cosmetics store and I wanted to exchange five of those containers with a free face mask if you don't know that already check it out at your local store and you it's a really good deal um, so I wanted to try this raisined honey fresh face mask but the thing is that they only had one left and it was past its sell by date but it was still um within its use by date if that makes sense so it's still okay to use it's just that it was close to the expiry date that they can't sell it on anymore and it's the last it was the last one so the lady actually just gave it to me for free um the reason i wanted to get this one is that i wanted something to make my skin look a little bit more radiant and glowy and this is the perfect face mask it's a little bit strong on the scent and i, I can't describe what it is it's like oh, i don't know what it is but it's extremely strong at first you won't be able to get used to it but um after a few uses you know you, you kind of the smell grows on you but it looks like this and it's really exfoliating as well it's got like these micro bees in them um, and it says on here that it's exfoliating stimulating and nourishing mask for tired skin fresh fruits are blended with warming something herbs and spices grounded almonds to polish and moisturizing honey after using it a few times I have actually realized that my skin is a lot more fresher looking and more radiant and um, healthy looking it has that natural glow to it rather than looking really dull and tired so definitely try this one out and I believe all of their face masks are only about five pounds something and this lasts you for a long long time um, so I've been using this throughout the whole month and I still have a little bit left so yeah, definitely, I would definitely recommend this to um, anyone really. The Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam. And this product I believe is fairly recent. I think it's past its season now. Um, and I've not actually heard a lot about this before, but I remember my friend using it and she said that it's quite just average. But I actually really, really love it. Because of the foam... Um, liquidy consistency it's not as thick on your skin as um, other foundations the color that I'm using is 010 ivory and this is probably one of the lightest colors that they do at Maybelline and it is actually perfect for my skin tone it, it's a perfect match um, it's not a hundred percent full coverage but it's enough 
for a natural look. I find using this foundation is perfect for the summer or um, hot weather because it allows your skin to breathe at the same time as giving it more of a natural colour to it, so covering up any redness or um, just balancing out your skin tone. And this concealer is from Bourjois Bio Detox Organic Concealer and it looks like this. It's quite small. And what I like about this product is the applicator. I didn't actually know this before I bought it. So this is a roll-on applicator and you just it comes out like that. I think it's a lot more hygienic with the um, roll-on applicator. But at the same time, the consistency is extremely, um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't necessarily say matte, but it's not oily, so it kind of avoids creasing or um, sliding around on your face. Um, so this product is also definitely very suitable for the summer weather when it's hot and it doesn't cake up on your face. So the next favourite of the month is a little bit random and it's the homemade iced coffee. So if you are a coffee drinker and you get a lot of Starbucks or iced coffee coolers or frappuccinos, whatever they're called, this homemade iced coffee is just another cheap way to make similar drink, similar taste. So one of my favourites this month. It's been quite hot recently in um, where I live, so um, I've been drinking a lot of this whilst doing some work as well. For my birthday, my mum came down and bought me some really nice clothes, and this is one of my favourite dresses. It's this one, like that, and it's got a really nice colour detail at the top. I love anything with colour. Um, I just think it's super smart but really cute at the same time and I love these shoulder uh, line detail I think. I just think that adds an extra interest to the skirt and this is all lace which is so pretty and it's got a sleeve thing there and the skirt like that. I just think it's so pretty on as well. So yeah, this is one of my favourites. And the last favourite of the month is, um, I guess it's like a, a fashion style. So I like this particular style of um, tops right now and I've been collecting them for quite a little while now. So I think I have a good selection of them ready for the summer. And it's just these really cute um, cropped tops. <laughs> it's, something, it's just so simple, but um, I absolutely love them. And I have one with flowers on them. This one, which has got just a little bit of detailing. Well, it's got patterns, but it's still only two coloured. So nice and simple. So this one is really good well, perfect for um, a casual look in the summer. And same with this. And I recently bought this white one. This was on sale at New Look again. And then I have a plain white one. This is quite casual as well. Just can wear it for shorts. Quite cute. I love this colour. It's like a peachy, corally pink colour. And it's just the same style, but um, it's a casual look as well. So thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you enjoyed it and comment in the comment section below to let me know some of your favourites of this month and let me know if you have any suggestions or requests that I could do for you in the upcoming videos. Also please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will link all of those information in the description box below. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye! Yeah.